Hello, Gemini friends. Hope you're fantastic by the time you see this. Thank you so much for your love, your support, for being here. I appreciate you. If you are looking for more Gemini readings, check out the playlist. I have them all organized in there. There will still be pick cards on this channel. I will do them once a week. I'm feeling really called to doing the signs. So I'm going to be doing maybe one or two signs per day. And yeah, catch, catch those as they come up. All right, and I'll do my live streams, of course. So we're going to stay busy on this channel. So please subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, if you're looking for personal reading, I do them all the time. They're my favorite things to do because it's just one energy to work on. So check out my book of reading link is down below. And thank you so much for supporting me, for choosing me for your, your reader. Okay, guess what? We're going to be doing the spread. Current energy, what you can expect in love. What you can look forward to, uh, strengths, weaknesses, guidance, and love messages from the person on your mind. All right, awesome, awesome, Gemini, air. What is your current energy, Gemini, air? What is your current energy? You have page of wands. Oh, you want to start something. You're eager. You're eager to send a message, eager to respond to a message, eager to embark on a new journey. What's coming next in love for you? Gemini. Gemini air. There you go. Your air sign. There you go. Queen of Swords. Okay. Direct communication. That's your next in love. What's coming next in love? What can you look forward to? What can you look forward to? Okay. You have com competition. Oh, you can have options. What are your strengths? What are your strengths in your relationship? And this next love coming in. Strengths. Okay, death. You know when to quit it. You know when to move on. You know when to cut something that doesn't uh, suit you. Oh my gosh, there you go. You know when to quit it. You know when broken heart, you know what a broken heart feels like. And you stop it in its tracks whenever you feel like you're getting into something that could break your heart. Something that could question the connection. You're like, nope, you're out of here. Okay, what are your weaknesses? What are your weaknesses? Okay. You have Queen of Pentacles and the past. Your weaknesses is your weaknesses are not realizing your work your worth in the past. Not being able to put work into yourself. What is your guidance? What is your guidance? Your guidance is re reflection. Oh, I was gonna say rejection and star healing. Oh, let me cover this with the crystal body energy. Body. We don't want to reveal those bodies, the body parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, friends. This is pretty pretty um, straightforward. I really feel that you, yeah, courtship, compassion, and you also have hanged man with the happiness. So I feel like you are up to something. Something is coming in for you. Um, you got somebody, I feel like, wanting your attention. Hold on, let's see. What What is the current energy? Please tell me why the page of wands is coming out. Why is the page of wands coming out? Empress. Okay, so somebody wants to come towards you. Somebody wants to shower you with love. Somebody wants to nurture you, grow with you. Somebody wants to take care of you, pamper you, show you, show you, I don't know, show you something beautiful. Invite you somewhere. Invite you, uh, break bread with you, take you out on a date. Someone really is fond of you. There you go, Queen of Swords, compassion. Somebody's gonna get, uh, send you loving words. Somebody's gonna try to swoon you, win, win you over. Why is the competition card here? Why? Two of Swords. Okay, you don't you don't know which direction you want to take. Someone, Queen, King of Wands. Someone's very attractive, and you don't know which direction to take. But you do have a new beginning. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You do have a new beginning. You're gonna have a reason to celebrate. You awesome Gemini peeps. You air signs. Celebration, you're gonna have a reason to celebrate. Yes, you are. You're gonna go out. Hospitality, someone's gonna take care of you. I'm telling you, the Empress, she's gonna be very well taken care of, okay? You have separation, Queen of Swords, so you're, you you might have to separate from an ex, or you might have to uh, separate, you know, uh, self sabotaging belief systems or negative words from this so that you can let this grow into something beautiful. So if you're like, oh my gosh, they're like my ex, they, they're coming across, their game is so weak, they're coming across, um, they, somebody that I remember, 
they're triggering me and so you don't want anything to trigger you you know not everybody's the same so you might have somebody wanting to you know show you that they're different but you might be ha holding things from the past so spirit is saying nope this person is different and you know unless they show you otherwise you know it's safe to go in this go with this lean into this all right let's see what i feel okay so the current energy Page of Wands, <clears throat> Empress, somebody wants to come towards you. You could be in a relationship or you can be single and you're looking to be in a relationship. You're putting yourself first. You're, you're working on your, your healing, your abundance, your, your wellness, mental wellness, mental well-being, um, emotional well-being. Next in love, air sign, queen of swords, you're coming out as someone who knows what they want. You're not settling for less. You love yourself. You respect yourself. You're like, I know what I'm looking for. I'm not playing games. That's what's coming next in love. Someone who's also very direct and they know what they want. So it's like you're matching that person. You could be the logical also, the logical person. They could be the passionate, emotional person. And you guys will balance each other. Okay, what can you look forward to? You have competition. You're going to have options. Two of Swords. I'm not sure who to choose. Oh my gosh. They're both great. Strengths. Your strength is you know when to leave something behind, when to cut something away, when to move on. You have no problem doing so. You're like, nope, I'm not, I'm not about the Three of Swords energy. I've been heartbroken before. I've been in third party situations before. I'm not doing it. Or I've known people who were in third party situations. I'm not doing it. Or I'm not going to be in a pickle where I date two people and I'm in a third party situation. And I'm the one deciding, oh my gosh, to date both people and, until I feel strongly for one of them. And no, you're like, nope, I'm not doing this. So you're, you're, you're going to be stepping into your decision hat making. You're going to make a, a very, very keen decision. Very important decision uh, as you get to know more people, as you keep on dating. I think there will be a lot more dating. You have competition here. Queen of Pentacles, that is your weakness. You don't know your worth sometimes. And that's your Queen of Swords tells you, oh, you better know your worth. You better, you better know your worth because we don't want to be in the Three of Swords energy again. Past, that was the past. Leave it behind. Keep it going. That's your weakness. You might also bring up the past a lot. And Spirit's saying, please don't. Okay, your guidance is to reflect on your lessons. You know, mistakes turns into lessons. Reflect on that. And heal. Heal if you can. So that you, when you open up to someone new, you're not bringing in any resentment or talking about your exes with your new person. <laughs> or vice versa. Um, the guidance. Okay, let's see what more guidance wants to come through. Let's see what more guidance. What other guidance can I give to you, Austin, Gemini, Air, friends? So you have prism of existence, separation, extension, independence, identity. We're already talking about the separation. We already know we can cut things away that don't support us. We, we don't have a problem doing so. That's wonderful. Extension, uh, extending yourself, trying not to extend yourself too thin by d dating 10 people at once. You know, just narrow it down. Independence, you are very independent. You're very, very, very strong-minded. You know your worth, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Earth, Empress. You're coming out twice. And your identity. Yes, know who you are before you start dating. Know who you are. Sometimes we forget. We get into a relationship and it's like we, we forget what we're about. We forget what we want. We forget where we came from. So you always remember where you came from, where you're going, what you want to do with your life, who you're looking for in a connection, what you're looking for, what you will tolerate, what you will not tolerate. Make sure you know yourself thoroughly so that when you fall in love and you have rose-colored glasses, you don't forget your values, your, your, your respect for yourself, your dignity, your wants, your desires, all that fun stuff, okay? Your goals. All right, so let's see what messages want to come through from the person on your mind. So whoever that is, it's, if it, can, it can be somebody from your past. It can be somebody you're dating now. It can be a crush you have or somebody coming into your existence. We'll see. Think about the person. Oh, think about the person on your mind. Think about the person on your mind. Awesome, Gemini. Okay, that's it. All right, let's do it. Let me love you. I'll never find another love like you. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. 
I'm on my bended knee. I have a big question to ask. It's been so long since I felt this way. Your kisses are electrifying. Ooh, it's electrifying. And losing control. Okay, tell me what you want with me. Questions, yes. I need answers. So that's what I have for you. Let me know if this resonated, Gemini friends. If you want more Gemini readings, check out my playlist below. If anything resonates at all, let me know all about it. I feel like you have wonderful, a wonderful head on your shoulders. You have good values. You know your worth. You're very confident. And you're going to attract the same. Someone who also knows what they want. Someone who also is passionate and they want love. And they're very reflective too. Like they, they understand and, and, and accept their mistakes, their flaws. And they work towards it. They improve. Queen of Pentacles tells me so. You did have the Queen of Pentacles. And healing. Queen of Pentacles is right there. And some healing here. They know they have healing to do. So do you. Alright friends. Okay. Thank you so much Gemini. I'll see you next time.